Hey dolls! Merry Christmas! I'm actually filming this Christmas Day because my family celebrates Christmas on Christmas Eve. So we opened presents and everything last night and I'm all just warm and snuggly and just relaxing today. Uh, but yeah, this is my What I Got for Christmas 2017 video. I do one of these every single year. I did not vlog my family Christmas this year. I did, but I'm not going to be posting it on YouTube just because we did have more family than we usually do or we had a couple of different people that haven't been there the past couple of years so I want to respect their privacy and I don't want to post that video plus my mom asked that I not post it this year because she just wanted it to be a little bit more personal with everyone and I hope you guys can respect that but I am doing this video so I hope you can forgive me uh, anyway yes we are going to get through this huge box oh my gosh this huge box of goodies that i got this year for christmas and i am going to put a disclaimer here i am by no means at all whatsoever bragging about anything that i got i love and cherish my family and friends so 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 much and they were kind enough to gift me these things for the holidays and i just want to say thank you so much to everyone who did gift me something it really does mean a lot whether it was something that was sent to me in the mail that I'm not including here uh, this is just mainly stuff that my family got me uh, that I got last night and I opened on Christmas Eve but thank you guys so much and I am so truly blessed as you guys remember if you've been following me for a while I have had a couple Christmases that weren't necessarily crazy and gift like insane like tons of gifts and everything so um, I really do appreciate when people go out of their way and spend the time and money on gifts like this and just remember that you know Christmas isn't just about the presents it's about you know Jesus Christ and spending time with the ones you love and cherish most in your lives so please give someone you love in your life a huge hug and tell them how much they mean to you let your friends know that they are appreciated and loved dearly and with that let's get on into this because I know you guys complain that I talk too much with my intros so yeah let's do this <laughs> okay so you guys know that every year I get a little stocking full of stuff from Santa whether you believe in Santa or you don't I still get presents from him and I'm a 25 year old grown woman so thank you Santa for not leaving my house out ever and always stopping by uh, Santa hooked it up this year guys he hooked it up um, and I'm gonna warn you most of this stuff that you guys are gonna see in this video here I go with my long intros again but most of the stuff that you guys are going to see is childish there are a lot of toys there are a lot of games that's just how I do Christmas like I have quite a few things that are useful and that I'm going to use and that are practical and then there are some things that are just like collectible items or just things that might just sit on a shelf and my mom has always from the time I was little until now she gets me toys and like collectible fun games and things like that so if that is something that turns you off or you think it's dumb for me to like childish things as a grown like I said grown woman i'm 25 years old even though i love childish kind of things like my little pony hello kitty things like that it doesn't mean i'm not a mature adult like i know how to act in mature situations that's a completely different video let's let's move on anyway all of this stuff is going to be little kiddish little kiddish so uh if you're not intrigued by that um i'm sorry but it makes me happy and i don't really care if you like it or not <laughs> So, we got some goodies here. I am freaking out. Okay, so there are three little items. I'll try to go through these pretty quickly. Um, there is this My Little Pony of the Movie little flashlight. So this is a practical item. I could definitely use this. So cute. I love that it has Fluttershy on it because you guys know Fluttershy is my favorite G4 pony. Then we have this little Num Noms keychain, which is so cute. I did open it out of the packaging already because it said it was birthday cake scented. But it smells nothing like birthday cake. If anything, it smells like lemon or something. Like, it's really weird. But it's very cute, so I'll put that on my keys. And then there is this Paw Patrol Sky little washcloth. And these are the ones that, like, you add water to and then it expands. 
So there is that little cutie right there. And now moving on to the gold, the pure gold. Okay, we have, we have, we have, we have the Equestria Girls Rainbow Rocks DVD. We have Cutie Mark Crusaders My Little Pony G4 Friendship is Magic DVD. We have uh, Soarin' Over Equestria, again, Friendship is Magic. We have Friends and Family, Friendship is Magic, G4, My Little Pony. And then, and then we have this one right here that is the TV, classic TV collection, My Little Pony Escape from Katrina and Other Adventures. So there's this one right here that is the OG G1 My Little Pony. And then... And then you guys, I like hyperventilated and almost cried when I opened this because if you guys haven't seen my Why I Love My Little Pony video, the reason I love My Little Pony so much is because I grew up on it when I was four years old. My mom had the My Little Pony Tales collection, uh, like not collection, but like the series taped on VHS tape and she would literally have to rewind it and play it again and rewind it and play it again and rewind it and play it again like all day every day for a long time that and Barney is like the two things that I always watch this My Little Pony Tales the complete series on DVD and yes you can see the little stickers on here these are all from Big Lots for only five dollars so like this is one thing where like I want to rip it open and watch every single episode again and again and again and again like when I was little but I also just want to leave it wrapped and concealed because it's such a treasure so I don't know I'm gonna rip it open I mean obviously I have to because I need to watch all of these but it says it's 4.75 hours of My Little Pony Tale goodness and I'm so happy I love watching these Ugh. Yay! Thank you. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. Oh, Santa. Thank you, Santa. I'm sorry. Thank you, Santa. I love you. I love you, Santa. <laughs> okay, I have a whole box of stuff right here, you guys. Oh my gosh. I was spoiled this year so much, and I'm just so appreciative of everything. I guess I'll go ahead and just dive right in. Uh, this is a 20... 18 calendar is that what year we're on now i don't know 2017 went by so fast uh this is a 2018 calendar my family every single year my mom gets everyone a calendar in my family and this year i got mickey mouse and friends you can see all of them there she decided to get me this one because of our recent disney trip and then i guess i'll just go down Oh, Rebel just shook his collar. You probably heard it. Um, I'll just go down the line and just show you everything that... Um, oh, let's go with what my niece got me. Hold on. G give me a second to arrange my arrange my thoughts here. Okay, there might be stuff in here that I'm mixing up, so I'm just going to show you what I can. So there is a little uh, Petty Scrub foot buffer. This was from one of my nieces. She gave me this as well as these little face scrubbies these feel so cool and they have little suctions on the back so you can put them in the shower or the bath and then like scrub your face and exfoliate your face while you're in the shower which is really cool i've seen these a few places and i've definitely wanted to try them so that is awesome and then she also got me a little candy cane with some m ms in it and uh hershey kisses so thank you so much to my niece for these i think i was missing one more item that she gave me but I don't see it right now, so if I find it, I will let you guys know. Now from my sister, she got me these adorable little slippers that have lambs on them. And they are pink little lammies. So precious. She also got me this like on the go battery operated electric toothbrush. She got one of these for my mom for her birthday and it looked so cool and I was so intrigued by it because it uh, is perfect for travel. Like it's amazing. It's so cool. And my mom brought it on one of our trips and uh, it worked out really well and I was really impressed with it. So she saw how happy I was with my mom's or how excited I was about my mom's and how interested I was in it. So she got me one for myself. Then she got me a hot cocoa and peppermint hot cocoa Starbucks ones. I've never had these before. If you've, have a, if you've had them, uh, let me know what you think of them. 
She also got me one of those scalp massagers. I'd seen these all over the place, all the time. You guys know exactly what this is. You know, it looks like a little whisk or whatever, but you put it on the top of your head and then it just like kind of goes down and like massages your scalp or like, <laughs> rubble just shook again, or like scratches you. Um, I hate this. <laughs> like she knows, she knows. Like she saw me try to use it and everything. I don't know, I might have like, footage on film where I was trying it out but it gives me such a weird tingly tickly sensation that like I can't do it it just sends like a shock like a tingly shock down my back when I try it have you guys ever tried these like they are so weird it's like you either love it or you hate it because it's like Alan my fiance he is obsessed with this thing he loves it he usually shaves his head and he used it so he could get really in there you know because he doesn't really have that much hair if any and so he put it on and he's just like oh so I told my sister I'm like yep that's gonna be Alan's I'll keep it for him but uh for me it gives me the heebie-jeebies and the willies but it's definitely something you have to try to know if you like it or not so thank you to my sister for letting me experience the scalp massager for the first time <laughs> then she also got me this shimmer spray hair and body a thousand wishes from bath and body works and this stuff is so strong if you guys go to spray this be very aware you don't want to just i you want to your first instinct is like glitter shimmer yes don't do that. You will die. It's literally a gag gift because you will start heaving and convulsing and like choking to death because it's so powerful. I, I accidentally was like, yes, glitter, and I sprayed it everywhere. And like, we literally had to take a break from opening presents because the scent was so strong and everyone was like, <clears throat> I'm like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to kill you guys on Christmas. <laughs> okay, and then she also got me a little Lisa Frank pencil. I don't know if you can really see this, if my camera will focus. There we go. So it's just a little Lisa Frank pencil. And then this super cute mug. You guys know I love tea and I love hot cocoa during the winter months. So she got me this cute little snowman mug. And then lastly, we have a mango hand cream that is this adorable little creature right here that I can attach to my purse or wherever. And it's just so pink and precious and I love it. I think it's a bunny because this is supposed to be like the little cottontail. I don't know. It's adorable and I haven't smelled it yet. Ooh, it's got a seal on it. Hold on. I want to tell you guys if it smells good. It's not that strong. Ooh, once you actually rub it in, it is kind of strong though. It smells pleasant. It's not like overpowering. It smells kind of like vanilla-y mango. So it's like an orange cream or something like that. Well, oranges and mangoes are completely different fruits, but you know what I mean. You get, you get the gist of it. And that is everything that my sister got me, I think, unless there's something else buried in here, which if there is, I will let you guys know when I get there. Okay, next up, I'll go ahead and show you guys what my fiancé got me. I have been wanting and needing a laptop table, and this one is awesome. It has, like, these, I need to play with it a little bit to get more used to it, but it has, like, these cool, like, adjustments to it and everything, so you can use it when you are laying in bed. You guys know I spend hours and hours and hours working on editing. YouTube videos and things like that so having something like this is amazing and he actually got me one that has a built-in fan so that your laptop doesn't overheat I think he got this on eBay I'm not a hundred percent sure but if you guys are curious or want to get one for yourself you can get them at places like eBay or Amazon but it's really cool because the fan just plugs into your USB port on your computer and then you just have your computer sitting like on your lap and you can adjust it in like 50 different positions and everything so you can use your computer like at a desk or like I said for me it'll be like when I'm laying in bed and everything so that is awesome and then he also got me I've been wanting one of these for a while this is one of the impressions vanity mirrors this is one of the I'm gonna say cheaper ones but I'm not saying that to be like mean or anything at all as my fiance like I appreciate this gift so much this is actually the one I wanted but it is one on the more affordable side so if you're someone who wants an impressions vanity that has like the LED lighting and everything like that they do have cheaper options they don't have just like $200 mirrors all over their website this one was on sale for $40 I believe during the time that he got it 
and it is so cool because it is pink I love it so much and I love that it's super compact and I can detach the stand from it and just take the mirror itself when I want to go like on trips or whatever because sometimes I go to trips and the hotels have like really bad lighting to do makeup or like just like where they have the vanity section set up the lighting is just horrendous and I always complain about it so now I have my own little mirror with my own lighting that is gonna be awesome but as you can see it has like a little tray table at the bottom so you can store like small little knickknacks and stuff it does swivel like all the way this way both ways so it's really compact and nice and then uh, it does have the LED lights I can't really show you this but it has all of the LED lights you see my like lame video setup right now this is what I'm doing like my pillows um, it has these little LED lights on the front and this touch button right here turns it on and if you I don't really know how to show this here I'll, I'll, I'll do it this way but if you press and hold it it will um, dim Hold on, let me do it with my thumb. Yeah? I can't really tell because my other lights are on, but it'll dim down. And then if you let up, like, see, it's really dim. And then if you put your finger back down on it, it will brighten it back up. So they are, it is dimmable. So you can do, like, heavy lighting or light lighting, combine it with other lighting that you have. And it's really amazing. And then it also has this little detachable, um, I'm not going to take it off right now because it's kind of stuck on there. But it is suctioned on, so you can take this off carry it with you in your purse what have you but it is just like a super like macro mirror it's all like close up and everything magnified so that is really cool it is just battery operated so it's just like you touch it and you can turn the lights on and off which is so convenient because you don't have to worry about cords and like I said it's amazing for travel so I'm very excited about this so thank you to my honey for that and the laptop tray oh I totally also forgot my niece gave me this <laughs> And this is the thing that I totally left out and forgot to show you guys. There's like shampoo or uh, body washes and lotions in here, I think. Sheer Freshia shower gel and body lotion and then green tea and cucumber shower gel and body lotion. And it just looks like this. Um, now we will move on to what my mommy got me. She spoils me so much. Okay, so first and foremost... Oreo candy canes these exist like I opened this and I was like what I am obsessed with Oreos you guys know she gave me birthday cake Oreos for my birthday this year a couple weeks ago and she got these Oreo candy canes I have no clue where she found these I'm gonna assume Big Lots or Walmart because those are usually the two main places that she does her Christmas shopping so that's probably where you can find them but I'm gonna tell you guys right now as soon as I opened these I ripped one open to see what it would taste like so I could tell you guys and just so I could tell everyone around me and everything when it was happening they taste like Tootsie Rolls that it's like that artificial chocolatey taste that they put in like Tootsie Roll candy it tastes like a Tootsie Roll it does not taste like Oreos like at all unless like maybe you crunch or like bite into it but other than that if you're just like sucking on it like normal or licking it it's just like it tastes like a Tootsie Roll. It does not taste like Oreos, but these are really cool. I don't mind Tootsie Roll taste. I like it, so I'm probably going to eat all these, or I'll share them with my friends and family or something, but I just thought this was really cool, and I'd never seen this before, so something to try out. If you like Tootsie Rolls, you'll like the Oreo candy cane nonsense that's going around right now, apparently. <laughs> okay, then we have... I love this stuff. Okay, so every year... Tradition. Tradition. My favorite perfume is Britney Spears. Curious. I'm so happy they still make this. So excited. I got hooked on this stuff when I was like 10 or 11. No, no, no. Maybe like 12 or 13. I don't know. My cousin had it. She gave me like this little tiny sample of it one day when I went to her house for like the holiday and I fell in love with it. And ever since then, it has been my favorite perfume and Every single year, my mom gets me this set that comes with like the big perfume or the and the uh, little body lotion or whatever. But uh, some years she just gets me the perfume, some years she gets me the bundle. It just really all depends. But Big Lots is usually the best place to find this because she got the big perfume and the lotion for only 18 bucks, and it could have even been on sale also. So if you're someone who wants perfumes, check 
big lots. I'm just telling you this because I have gotten a few perfumes there for other people as Christmas gifts and they're very affordable. So Britney Spears, Curious, my favorite, one of my favorite perfume scents ever and she's just beautiful she is a goddess and i love her so much so thank you mom for getting me my traditional smell goods for the year <laughs> next we have i just did the video on the little uh cuckoo Harajuku dolls i will link it on the screen right here if you want to see the video about the full-size dolls uh it shows it a lot it shows them a lot more in detail and kind of describes each one a little bit and i show all of the accessories and everything so if you're interested in the uh, Kuku Harajuku dolls. You can definitely check out my video that I did on that. But this is my favorite girl. It is G, and my mom got me her as like a little tiny one. She's so cute. I'm probably just gonna leave her in the package and set her up on my shelf or hang her up on my wall because that's what I do and she's just in such pristine condition. I don't want to mess her up or anything. She's so cute. And it was so thoughtful of my mom because I was so, so, so excited about that video and that sponsorship and everything. And she knows how much I liked them and uh, I just, she was so sweet to get this for me. I love it. And I love Gwen Stefani, like to the moon and back too, like Britney. So, ah, yes my my girls my girls i gotta i gotta i gotta i gotta support my girls <laughs> then i'm um, moving on she got me this awesome huge set of games uh the reason she got this was because mainly the chess because i just learned how to play chess she just taught me how um it was at the beginning of this year or towards like springtime i believe she sat down and taught me and one of my nieces how to play chess together so she got me my own little chess board but it also comes with all these other games and there's um there's even tic-tac-toe chinese checkers regular checkers uh insanity i've never played that one before i'm not sure what it is and mancala do you guys remember mancala it's like right here on the side oh gosh the glare it's this one right here but it's like where you take the little marbles or whatever or the beans and you like put them in each little section and then like you go around the board and then the person with all of theirs gone is like the winner or something or vice versa i don't know i i feel like this is oh my gosh i'm so excited i was just talking to my fiance about mancala the other day because we went to home goods and we were looking at all the board games and stuff and i saw mancala there and i'm like oh my gosh that game was the ish when i was in third grade i was obsessed with it I would play it all the time and I'm so happy I have it again so I told him that we're gonna have to break this out and play man call it together because I love that game now moving on to some pony things so the reason she kind of went crazy and got me pony stuff is because obviously I love ponies since I was four years old and I collect them still and I love them so much g3 is my favorite I kind of stopped collecting g4 but we went and saw the new my little pony movie in theaters when it came out like the day it came out um, I went in late to work so I could go to the movie early during the day and so we could get matinee prices and stuff and we saw it and it was so so good like the music superb the picture and the colors and superb like you need to see that movie and it has a good message my little pony always has such a good strong message and i love it i love i love my little pony so much okay so she got me this amazing I think it's funny because at the bottom it says my busy books but it is the my little pony the movie in a picture book like a cardboard picture book right here so you can see I don't want to like show you too much and like give stuff away but the very end it has all of the collectible figures from the movie so it has like all the sea ponies and everything and then I think this right here I'm not a hundred percent sure what it is but I think it's maybe like a poster or like a placemat or something where like you can stand the characters on them um oh yeah it shows it on the back I think an engaging storybook and toy in one activity kit. My Busy Books offers full page illustrations, a story, 12 figurines, and a play mat. 
that brings the characters to life and ignites your child's imagination or your 25 year old daughter's imagination. <laughs> I love it. This is such a beautiful like collectible thing to have though. Like I said, this would be awesome to just like display the characters on a shelf or something and then just have the book kind of like sitting open just like on a bookend or something because even the side is just so pretty with all of the ponies on there. I love it and the colors are just always so vibrant and pretty. Oh, I just love ponies. They just bring me back to my childhood and I'm obsessed with it. So there's that. And then she got me these. I believe they are both exclusive to Toys R Us only, but I got the My Little Pony. Guess who? Oh my gosh, I was so excited about this. My fiance actually played a game or two with me last night. He was so sweet to just kind of sit there and play it. Who remembers Guess Who? Was this game not amazing back in the day? It's still amazing and I'm so happy that I have a My Little Pony version now. So that's very exciting for me. I just that little tiny thing, you know, that little tiny present was just like, oh my gosh, my childhood. It's like two things I absolutely love in one and it's it's awesome and it's very special so it's cool and then also this is the my little pony edition of the pie face game i know you guys have seen videos of this going on youtube all the time everywhere people do different crazy challenges with it and all kinds of stuff let me know what kind of challenge you want me to do with this my niece bell actually told me that she wanted to do a video playing this with me for my channel so if you want whatever kind of challenge you want us to do or if you, we should just play it and see what happens I don't know let me know in the comments down below if this is something you'd want to see on my channel but as you can see it is available only at Toys R Us along with the uh it doesn't say on the guest list that it's only at Toys R Us but it is only at Toys R Us as far as I know. So uh, yeah, if you wanna get your hands on those, that's where they are. It has all the instructions and everything on the back. But look at it, look at her little face in there. She's Pinkie Pie. I think it comes with different inserts. It might, maybe it's just Pinkie Pie. I don't know, I'll have to crack this open and see. But uh, it, yeah, let me know if you guys wanna see something like that on my channel. I haven't done challenge videos or games like that in a long time, so it would be pretty fun to kinda do that again. And then my mom also got me from the My Little Pony movie. This is the Fluttershy when she was a sea pony. I had really only seen Rarity and um, Pinkie Pie as like the little mermaids or whatever, the little sea ponies. I had only seen them in stores, so the fact that she got Fluttershy, like I haven't even seen this one yet, so it makes me really excited. Again, I'm probably gonna end up just leaving her in the box and putting her on my shelf with some of my collection. I think I only have two more things left. I could be completely mistaken, but I think we're at the end of the road here. She got me, my mom got me this Hello Kitty onesie it has a little bow on the side and it is so soft and comfy it is pink and then the little pockets on the tummy are white just like this and then all of the rest of it is still like this pink it doesn't have a tail and the legs look just like this there are no feet on the bottom of it i have no idea where she got this but it's so cute and comfy and I love it. And like I told you guys in one of my previous videos, I love wearing comfy pajamas on Christmas and Christmas um, or maybe possibly Christmas Eve. Like I try to like wear my comfy pajamas to bed on Christmas Eve and then I just wake up fresh in my jammies and then I could kind of just stay in them all day during Christmas day. And it's really nice, it's really fun, I enjoy it. Um, it's just kind of like a fun little tradition that I've kind of created for myself. And then the last thing my mom got me is this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful puppy surprise. Her name is Eliza and I have opened her, but I filmed a video opening her, like unboxing her and taking all the puppies out and everything. So if you want to see that video, I will link it right here on the screen when it's up. If it's not up yet, it will be shortly or soon. <laughs> Excuse me. I do have another video unboxing a puppy surprise. Um, this is my third one now. This is the last one I did the video on. And then I do have another one. She is right here. But I don't want to turn this into a my puppy surprise collection video. But here are all my puppy surprises. <laughs> 
I'm gonna let you guys go because that is everything. I literally just have these like thrown on my bed right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite present was that you got this year for Christmas and uh, what your favorite thing about Christmas is just in general. Remember it's not just about the gifts whether you're giving or receiving. It's just about family and just being together and you know celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ and just appreciating what you're given in life and just remembering that you are blessed and loving the people around you and telling them that you love them. I hope you all had a very merry and safe Christmas um, and with that I will go ahead and let you guys go and I will talk to you all in my next video. So until then so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. Okay, bye! Be you. If you love My Little Pony, be you. If you love Cuckoo Harajuku dolls, be you. If you love Puppy Surprise, be you. If you love girly, pink, cutesy things, be you. If you don't, be you. There is no age limit to anything or an age cutoff to anything unless it's a game, you know, that says ages five plus or something like that. But I mean, like, you're never too old to love things like this. And just remember that, embrace that, and live your life happy and don't care too much about what other people think because they're just so caught up in these stereotypical mindsets. Anyway, I'm talking too much. I gotta go. I will talk to you all in my next video, like I said before. So, uh, yeah. Bye. <laughs>